Hey guys, so I decided to make an update video because I haven't made one in a really long time and the last you heard from me I was heading off to Chicago for rehab and that went really well but on the last day when I was heading home I got in kind of a car accident and I broke my back in two places so I am stuck with this bad boy for a whole three months. I really didn't make this video to let you guys know that I'm in a brace because if you follow me, um, you know that I've been in a brace for about a month now, but I've been planning on making this video because I knew I had scans coming up and I wanted to update you guys on my scan results. And in my head, I was planning on coming on here and telling you guys that I'm cancer free and that I'm going to keep working towards walking, but unfortunately um, I got my scans back yesterday and I am not cancer free. Um, part of me knew, even though I just kept trying to stay positive and saying, you know, you're cancer free, you don't have cancer, but I was having pain right here and my abdominal region's been kind of bloated lately. Um, the cancer is not everywhere as I know of right now. I have to go get more scans on Monday. Um, but I've been having headaches too, so we're gonna have to see if it's like spread to my brain. Um, but as of right now, all I know is that it's, there's like a seven inch tumor right around this area. Once again, it's not in my lung, it's in what they call the pleural, which is just like the outside of the lung, I think. <laughs> um, and then I have a five inch tumor down near my liver and a bunch of little other ones. Um, that's all I know right now. But once again, I'll find out more Monday. I don't really have too many options at this point. Uh, treatment wise because I just found out all of the chemo that I did in this past year um, my body wasn't responsive to it at all and that's why it's just making the Ewing sarcoma tumors again so I'm gonna try some clinical trials that are geared more towards immunotherapy um, I'm hoping I can get into one and I'll find out Monday if I can get into it. The only problem with that is because it's a clinical trial and it's in phase two, I only have a 50% chance of actually getting the immunotherapy vaccine and the other one would be a placebo which would be chemotherapy. and. I have such a problem with this because when I was talking to the lady about it, she was saying, you know, it's not up to the people who are doing the trials, it's the government, you know, they have to say, oh, well, the group that got chemo and not the vaccine, that didn't work, so it shows that the vaccine works better than the chemo, which... I get from like a data standpoint, but just to play with people's lives like that, I don't, I don't know. It's just, it just doesn't make sense to me. I'm not giving up just yet. I understand. I have a lot stacked against me and it doesn't look good, but my 20th birthday is next week. Like, I just can't die. I still want to get married and I still want to have kids and I just want to beat this. I just want to beat this and put it all behind me because I feel like I have so much left to do in this world and I have a purpose for being here and I just feel like I just feel like it just all can't be over right now. I feel like there's just, I have so much left to do and I can't end like this. 
I'm just hoping and praying that I beat this and I come out victorious through all of this and I can just keep working on walking and keep working getting rehabilitated and just put all of this behind me. That's all I really have to say right now. Um, the more I find out, the more I'll let you guys know. But I really don't have anything else to say. So I guess I'm just going to have to keep fighting.